Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 FPS series. In today's video we are going to be showing you how you can set up a line trace system for your project inside of Unreal Engine. So a line trace system is basically essentially going to be using a line uh, that is going to come out of the center of your camera as opposed to a projectile which is simply going to come out of the muzzle of the gun. Now the advantages to using a line tray system is it's going to end up going where the crosshair is aimed whereas if you're using a projectile based system like we are at the moment what you're going to see is the projectiles actually go a little bit further than the crosshair and it doesn't allow you to have full control and full accuracy over where those are going to go. Now this video is entirely up to you, um, it is something that is completely optional, you can use what you've got now or you can use the line trace system that we're going to be showing you how to use. Now this is something that's been asked for quite a few times and that is why I am currently working on it. Now in today's video we are going to be showing you how to get the simple line trace um, hooked up to your firing uh, mechanisms that you've already uh, put into the game and then if you guys enjoy it over the next few videos we'll show you how to damage the AI when the player um, actually hits them with a line trace. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive straight in. So the first thing that we need to do then is to go to our third person BP folder, blueprints, and then under our third person character, we need to re-familiarize ourselves with the blueprints and we need to find the function for firing our weapon so that we can implement this line trace system as opposed to the projectile. And if you go into the event graph for the third person player, you should have a event for primary fire. And then moving on from here, what we have is switch on int, which is just going to switch um, based on the weapon that you've got selected. We've got two weapons and we have got two fire functions. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have to set up this line tray system for both of these. So I'm going to open the first one which is going to be for our AK-47 and I can check that just by going to my viewport um, and then event graph in here I need to do a few things. Now notice at the moment what we're doing is just spawning the projectile and that's going to have a bunch of physics applied to it. That's all done. So what we're going to do is basically just press Alt and click this to break that link from the fire event. And then with this, what we're going to do is simply run a line trace instead of the projectile. Now, before we can do this line trace, we need to get a bit of information from the third person character. So I'm going to simply cast to the third person character. And the reason why is because I need to get some information from the camera so that we can link this up to our line trace so it comes from the center of the camera. So I'm going to move this over just to give myself a little bit of space, move it over to the left. Object wildcard for the third person player is going to be get player character. And then from here as third person character, we are simply going to get follow camera. And don't worry about this get camera view, we don't need it, just the follow camera is the bit that we're after. Now what we need to do now then is run a line trace and then figure out a start and an end point and we're going to be doing this using some vectors location and rotation and a few other bits but we'll do that in just a second so what we're going to do is drag out from cast third person character to line trace by channel and make sure you're not using multi line trace because it is just the one line trace that we need just the one bullet now with this, this is asking for a couple of things. It's asking for a start point and an end point. And the way we're going to get this is from the camera. So I'm going to move this back to give me a bit more space. And the start point is going to be the location for the camera. And that's automatically going to give us the center point. And that is going to be essentially where the crosshair is looking at. So what I'm going to do is with my follow camera, I'm simply going to type in get world location and I'm going to hook this up into our start point. Now for the end point, we need to get that location, 
we need to look where it's aiming and then give it information which is sort of ahead of that. And the way we're going to do this is by generating a forward vector, adding it on to the original location and multiplying it for some distance. Now, that's probably not going to make sense. And once we've actually got the blueprints in there, it is going to be a little bit easier to understand. So what I'm going to do is get world uh, rotation for this follow camera. And then with this, I am going to get a forward vector to convert this into something that I can actually use. And then what I'm going to do is with this forward vector, once we know where it's heading, we are just going to multiply this by 1500 to give us some distance. You can use a different value if you want to, that's up to you. But for now, this is going to work. So what I'm going to do is vector times float. So what you should have is something that looks like this. And we're going to set this to 1500, which is going to be the distance, the maximum distance this line trace can go. And then we are just going to do vector plus vector to go ahead and get us our end point. And for this, we're just going to have the result of this into the bottom and the original point in the top here. So essentially, once again, what we're doing here is getting the start point from the current location of the camera, getting the rotation, turning it into a forward vector, and then just defining a distance for that. So what we're going to do now then is hook this up to the set node over here, essentially where the projectile was going. And we're going to break any links to that. Now, what I'm also going to do within my line trace is I'm going to make sure uh, draw debug type is set to persistent so that we can actually see exactly what we're doing. If we compile this and press play, what you should have now each time you fire is a little red line. And this red line is basically just our line trace. But the thing that you will notice about it is that it is going exactly where my crosshair is as opposed to wherever the projectile might land. It's a bit more accurate. Now, what I'm going to do with this, just so you can see it working and we can sort of form the basics of this system, is back in my blueprint, before we go ahead and set the ammo, what I'm going to do is simply um, break this down into a hit result. So out of the hit, type in break hit result. And this is going to allow us to do a bunch of different actions depending on the actor or the physics material or whatever that it goes ahead and hits. So I'm going to move this over and show you exactly what I'm talking about. Now, what I'm going to do here is essentially just make sure it's hitting uh, the objects that I need it to, including our AI. So what I'm going to do is after we do the line trace, simply print a string and the string is simply going to be the hit actor, so the item that it has um, hit. So now what I'm going to do is essentially just compile this, press play, and when I shoot the wall, in the top left hand corner it should say wall 11, or if I hit a different wall it should uh, say that, or if I hit sort of one of these pieces, you can see it's just changing the name depending on the item that it is hitting. Now, what you will notice is that with our AI, it is actually going straight through the AI and it's not generating a hit. So what we need to do for that to solve that solution is open up our simple AI and then go to viewport, go to mesh. And then inside of here, what you want to do is a couple of things. So go to collision and then change this from character mesh to block all and what this is going to do is it's going to block the line trace and make sure you also hit simulate generate hit events as well if we press play now what we should see is when we shoot the character it hits it and it turned green after that initial hit and what i could do 
from here is then start working on the damage and all of that good stuff. But for now, that is pretty much everything for the basics of our line trace system. Um, and hopefully you guys are going to have a lot more fun with this as your shooting starts to become more realistic. Anyway guys, I am going to end off the video here. Once again, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.